you guys. <laughs> Today, I woke up and I was like, well, today's 11 11 2020. It's a really big um, manifesting um, day. So I wanted to come in here and help you guys clear some stuff out, have a little chat, tell you some new things. First of all, please, 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 um, I'm going to start doing more on YouTube than here. So go like and subscribe on my YouTube channel because uh, I'm going to be moving more in that direction. I'm also working on a podcast that I'm really excited about and that'll come out pretty soon. Um, I'm still traveling back and forth to Albuquerque a lot so I won't be doing chalk talks regularly and so um, be on those and and pay it and look and get on my page on uh, my uh, uh, gosh I can't even think on my website you want to subscribe because in case anything happens here I have all you guys and I can still contact you that way so if you want to still get all these great things that I do uh, you want to be on YouTube and on my website subscribing to both and then as soon as I get the podcast going I'll let you know about that also so um, today's chalk talk is you get to choose your outcome you get to choose you get to decide so when you have anything coming up, remember, you get to decide, okay? You get to decide if you're going to have a bad day. You get to decide if you're going to uh, feel icky. You get to decide on your health, okay? Today is a huge manifesting day. You want to work hard on what's going through your mind. You want to work hard on not like sitting in the icky like, oh, my life is awful. You want to, to really, really pay attention and work on that. Today is a very big day for that, okay? So, uh, the funny story is, uh, just a little bit ago as I was getting ready, they put a sum in my head. Um, and it's not, when I say it, it's not like a scary thing. Understand, it's a beautiful thing. So, the sum was, the end. it's the end of the world as we know it. And it is. And it is. And we're going to go through some crap for a little bit, but then it's going to be beautiful. So you want to start sitting in that beauty now because you can bring that to you. You don't have to go along with everything that's going on around you right now. You can work on yourself and you can have this beautiful life regardless of everything that's going on. Turn off the TV. Don't watch the news because you get to choose. We've been bombarded with so much on how we need to think and feel and know and everything you need to come back into yourself and that's what we're going to work on. We're going to clear it out today and learn to go within and, and be that, okay? And, and forget about the rest. We've, like I said, we've been barded and you've got to remember that. Turn off the TV. It's huge. Don't keep watching the crap. We've been programmed with it and we don't need to do that. We need to learn to go back and think for ourselves. We came to this earth with free will and to know and to think for ourselves, right? Not to be told everything. And let me tell you, anybody that's talking to you, even all of us spiritual people, teachers, healers, psychics, we're all in human form, right? It's good, listen, pay attention, but you have to learn to go within so you can discern for yourself what is correct for you. Because we're all here in human, nobody here is perfect and nobody here is giving you perfect information. You've got to remember that. And that's where anywhere you look. I have tons of people that I love and I follow. And you have to, even with them, even people I love to follow, even people that I've learned from, you have to learn to take and take it within yourself and decide, is that true for me? Is that correct for me? Because not everything from anybody, there's not one person that everything they've said, I'm like, oh yeah, I get that's right for me. 
not one person. So you have got to decide. And you've got to learn to go within and learn to feel what's right for you. And then you also have to learn to go within and not sit in the like, any of your sicknesses. You don't want to just sit with it. You want to be like, I am healthy today. I am well every single day. And go with that. You have this power. You get to choose. Like I said at the beginning, you get to choose what your life's going to be. And even if I'm wrong, which maybe take what feels right, leave the rest, maybe I am. But even if I am and you decide and you choose, I'm going to be well. If I'm wrong and that's not correct, what does it hurt you to decide to choose that? Right? What does it hurt you to decide that in your mind? Right? It doesn't hurt you. But I can guarantee you it hurts you if you like decide I'm going to be sick and I'm going to sit in it and that's giving me attention because... I don't feel good all the time and people are asking me how I'm doing and then I, you know, get to tell them I'm doing miserable. Like, pay attention. Pay attention to what excites you when you start talking, right? Do you get worked up? You're like, well, yeah, I've had a really crappy day today, right? Because we've been programmed to do that. And it also goes back to like what we've known all our life. We go back to the fight or flight. You know, we got to pay attention to the bad things because we got to get away from it. So it's, it's just been an aid in us for so, so long, okay? We need to pay attention to inside ourselves. We need to pay attention to where we're thinking, what we're doing, how we're acting. Are you acting sick, right? Are you living like you're sick, right? It's Our minds are very, very powerful. And we've been taught to not listen to our inner self. And that is so, that's why we're where we're at right now, okay? And when I say, when that, that song, it's in my head, it's the end of the world as we know it, it is because we have to start thinking for ourselves. We're going to this beautiful place. But if you don't learn to think with inside yourself, you're going to have trouble with it. So really pay attention. You don't want to be sitting in the not thinking for yourself. You don't, you need to turn off the TVs. Need to turn off the TVs. Or if you like figured it out, watch the TV and kind of laugh. I do that for a minute and then I've got to turn it off. Because like you can just see, you can see I'm like, mm, I don't know what they're saying is true, right? And they say it with like a straight face. So pay attention to how you feel. It's a big deal. Okay, you get to choose, but the problem is the media and everything around us has taught us to not listen to ourselves, that we need to listen to them, that, that they're the end-all, be-all, they know everything. It's going back within and listening to yourself, and we're going to clear out some stuff, so hopefully you can start doing that, okay? Learn to live in the moment. Pay attention to how you feel around everything. Pay attention to how it feels to watch the news, if you have to turn it on for a second. Pay attention. Pay attention. Live in the moment and pay attention to how you are feeling with everything. And that's how you learn your inner guidance. That's how you learn what is right for you. That's how you learn what you're hearing from others is either right or not right for you. Okay? It's huge. Pay attention, pay attention, pay attention. Okay. All right, so we're going to do a quick little meditation. We're going to clear out. And then, um, so that's what I have for today. If you're not on my uh, email list, go to my website, tracycorrick.com, and sign up. That's how we can still stay in touch. And then also YouTube, go over there and subscribe. I'm going to be doing more over there. I don't know how much I will still be doing here. Okay. All right, so take a deep breath in, exhale, this time on the deep breath in, hold it, and then exhale everything that's no longer serving you. Put that in that violet flame, and one more time, deep breath in, hold it, and exhale. I want you to imagine the violet flame below your feet coming up and around and through your whole body. It's cleansing, clearing, and purifying everything. Any negative thoughts that come up, throw them in the violet flame. 
any negativity that comes from others, um, any fights, arguments, any pulled in front of somebody in traffic, they're all that energy they put out is coming at you but it's theirs it's not yours so just let it go put it in the violet flame and then finally the consciousness all the fear stress anxiety anger anything that comes up like that just put it in the violet flame you to imagine this violet, not the violet flame, the gold light coming down from source into the top of your head. It's going all the way down to your feet, out the bottom of your feet into the center of earth, coming back up into your feet. Okay? As it gets to your feet, it's going to start filling your whole body up with source and earth light. And it's filling up your whole body and as it fills it up, it's clearing out everything that's no longer serving you, anything that's harmed you. It's giving you the opportunity to have a fresh start with your own intuition and your own inner knowing. You want to clear the old out so the new can come in and you can hear yourself better and hear outside you better and know what's um, in tune and in line with you. Okay? So it's moving all the way up to your shoulders, down your arms, back up your arms, to your neck and to your head, and now it's going in your energy. It's filling up all of your energy, just clearing out everything that's been put there, inhibited to you, any programming. It's just being released. And now it's going to come to the top of your head and everything's gonna pour out that needs to be gotten rid of. it up you're filled with gold light in your whole energy giving you a fresh clean start on what for yourself so you know what's right for you and what's correct for you and not just everything that you hear so pay attention to your inner knowing it's there you want to keep working on it and strengthen it all right we can take those violet flames and send it back up to source to transmute it all right, guys, that's what I have for today. Today is 11, 11, 20, 20, 20. It's a huge manifesting day. Pay attention. Have positive thoughts for your life because you, alone with yourself and your thoughts, can manifest your life that you want, okay? So really pay attention. Pay attention to where your thoughts are going because you're manifesting them. And today it's even stronger. So you really want to work on that. And then do it every day continually because we can all manifest this beautiful life. And the more of us that do it, the more earth will go in the positive direction that we want it to go. So, go do something you love, something that brings you joy, something that lifts you up. Do at least one thing every day. Then do self-care, drink tea, Epsom salt bath, pray, meditate, whatever that is for you. Go do it. Then do something kind for somebody else. Look for things in people all the time. Look for the good in people. And when you see something that stands out, say it to them. It lifts you up and it lifts them up. And then write 10 things you're grateful for. Do these things and it's going to make a difference in your life, I promise. All right, guys. Have a great day. <clears throat> it's good to see you guys. Hi, Gloria. Uh, I, it's, I will put it, it's tracygorick.com, Gloria. Um, I will put it in the comments. Uh, yeah. So be sure, you're, I think you're on there, Gloria. I haven't sent something out in a while, but um, I'll put it and you can just check. Uh, so just be sure you're on there if you want to be able to keep in contact with me. I don't know what's going to happen on here. A lot of people are being taken off and they're losing everything that they have. So... I have to be careful about what I say, so that's why I'm going to go to YouTube, even though that one's a little bit. So go to my YouTube and subscribe also, because that's where I'm going to be a lot, and then I will keep you guys posted on the podcast. 
All right, guys, have a great day. I love you all. I will see you soon. Bye.